Eric Butler. Good evening. Oh, Mr. Butler, you, you have three parking tickets, Mr. Butler. Yeah. You came all the way in here for three parking tickets. Well, so actually, my girlfriend's car, she stayed at my house, and um, we didn't receive the first ticket. We yeah. actually uh, found, out, found out via the mail. The second one, I'm guilty, I'm willing to pay it, but the first one, I really, you know, I really didn't know. What do you do? I'm a, uh, a CNA. You're a CNA? Yeah. Home health aide. Yeah. I mean, tell me about your, your job as a CNA, right? You must have had some wonderful experiences helping people. Yeah. Um, actually, right now, I help, uh, I was helping an older gentleman, but he just recently passed. But I was with him for about six years. And um, <clears throat> it was a great experience. Um, I went into it, you know, just doing the job, but him being older, he gave me so much knowledge and, and wisdom and he's seen potential in me. So, you know what I mean? He's, so, he's somebody that, you know, I'm gonna keep with me for a long time. You know, you just said something that resonates and that is that you can't buy experience. Yeah. And I remember when I was very young, somebody would say, listen to older people, they've mm -hmm. had experience. And like every other young kid, I said, well, you know, we, know, we knew it all, you know, we, we thought we knew it all, but as you go through life, you find that, that those experiences have become very valuable to other people. You know? They really are. What are some of the lessons you learned from being a CNA? Tell me. Um, compassion. You gotta be uh, compassion, compassionate. You gotta be caring. Um, because at the end of the day, these are, you know, it's people that you're dealing with. It's not machines, you know, people have failings. Um, I, just to give you a quick story um, to, to, for compassion, there was a guy that I was dealing with. It was a Friday night, I wanted to go out. So my shift ended at nine, 8.55, I'm dressed. 8.57, I gotta take care of him. He poops all everywhere. While I'm trying to poop, while I'm trying to clean him up, he's trying to touch me and all of that. And I'm trying to get out of there. So long story short, I get him done. I get out of there. The whole weekend, I don't have to work till Monday. So the whole weekend, I'm just mad. I'm not going to do him. He was too difficult, this or that. Monday came. I walked by his room. His uh, bed was empty. I said, Where's so and so? Oh, you didn't hear? He passed away over the weekend. Like, when I heard that, I just felt terrible because here I was feeling some sort of way about him, and he was on his deathbed. So, once I had that experience, that, you know what I mean, that changed me. Take solace in the fact that you administered to him when he really needed it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he, you didn't know he was dying. And I mm -hmm. understand you were anxious to go out. You're young, you're healthy, you wanted to go out. And, but that taught you, that's a life lesson for people, you know, it mm -hmm. really is. And the lesson is, as you said earlier, you know, be understanding, be kind, be considerate, be mm -hmm. compassionate of other people. Push yourself in their circumstances. Mm -hmm. you know? I do that up here occasionally, believe it or not. I try to place myself in other people's circumstances, you know. Eric, we're going to charge you $30. All right, thank you. When you go thank back you. in the car, you're going to say to your girlfriend, what do you call her, Josephina? Uh, no, babe. Babe, or all right. Babe. You're going to get in the car, you're going to sit down and go, babe, you don't know what I just went through, right? Just to protect your interests, right? I pleaded with that judge, you know, and I just wore him down, and he reduced the fines to $30. I'm really exhausted. I think you should pay for dinner tonight. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Right? <laughs> no, <right. laughs> Good luck. Thank uh, you. I appreciate it. You know what we're going to do tonight? Right? I dismissed two of those tickets. We're going to dismiss those tickets, and I mean this honestly and sincerely, you know, on your behalf as a tribute to the man that died that you were taking care of in his memory. I appreciate that. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. See the court. Thank you. Thank you.